Elections are supposed to be about the grave problems facing this country. I can think of a few. I'm sure you can think of a few. One is the war in Iraq. The other is an economy, which is not only failing working people, but it's just given a $53 million bonus to the chief executive of Goldman Sachs. And instead, we have a new form of a horse race. Why should Obama, Barack Obama, apologize to Hillary Clinton for something movie mogul David Geffen said about her husband. You got me. I do not understand what is going on with our politics and our society. It's like asking a passenger to make an apology for the chief executive of JetBlue. But why should Obama make an apology? And for Hillary Clinton to then stand on the stage and use this to talk about the politics of personal destruction? Does that have some resonance? Does that bring up memories of something? No, we should be looking at why David Geffen slept in the Lincoln bedroom, can we end that practice, and what these candidates could do to stop a war, to speak to ending a war that the Congress is not confronting directly. Yesterday there were two important events. CNN had a poll showing 60 percent of Americans want Congress to stop the funding for this war. And Tony Blair, George W. Bush's ally in arms, if one wants to be polite, his poodle, if one wants to be impolite, has decided it is time to withdraw 1,600 British troops from a war that he understands, though doesn't state publicly, requires a political resolution. George W. Bush and his administration are isolated, but the Congress needs to come forward and reassert its moral and political and constitutional right and responsibility to use the power of the purse to protect the troops and bring them home.